Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's old Pappy back with another one. And uh, today we're going to be looking at some new visual effects for the Atomizer, which you see on the screen there, as well as the Pulsar. Um, and also the Shredder and the Viper all have gotten a little bit of a tweak, a visual tweak. We'll see if it's a big difference or not. And of course, the big news on the test server is this new heavy monster here, this new heavy weapon called Cataclysm. It's sort of like the grandpappy of, of uh, Calamity and Scourge. Works the same way. The closer you get, the more damage it does. 600 meter range. Big difference. It has a 10 second reload compared to the uh, to the other versions that go on the regular bots. But first, let's get at it right away. We're not gonna stick around too long on these visuals. Just wanna see if there's any kind of difference. I can see a bit of a burst effect there. Um, seems to be a bit more defined when you shoot these shredders. Although I gotta say, shooting a Ragin with his, uh, with, his, uh, with his shields up isn't a very good idea. Uh, but anyway, that kind of shows you what it looks like. Um, you know what, it's kind of funny because the actual individual uh, shots of the shredder they seem a bit more defined, don't they? They almost look a bit like the same effect that you're gonna see on the Atomizer, which of course is the new medium weapon that just is about to hit the live server. Anyway, so that's it, that's the new shredders. So if you got them, you're gonna have to let me know whether you see a big difference or not. I don't see a, a huge difference, it's a subtle difference. But moving on, let's go to the Vipers. Now, I like Vipers. Vipers, of course, are a heavy weapon. They are 500 meters. They do acid damage in addition to the, uh, the actual damage from these uh, sort of laser balls, if you will. Um, I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot of difference. I mean, they, the, the balls themselves look a little bit more defined, but ironically, they actually look like uh, the rockets in the new cryo weapons, don't they? They look a bit more like cryo weapons than they do, um, than they do anything else. I know they uh, they seem to still kind of mistarget a lot. That's one of the things I'm not a big fan about this this type of weapon, especially point blank. I think that it could be a bit more accurate. Anyway, that's it. Uh, let me know if you see a big difference. Obviously, hit me up in the uh, in the comments or something if you if you see a difference. I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot. Um, and now let's uh, yeah let's leave vipers behind here and let's check out the I got uh, two pulsars and two atomizers on this leech. And we're just gonna quickly take a quick look and see if we can see anything different with the visuals. And also I'll talk very quickly about the Atomizer. I'm getting a little bit tired of talking about it because this is, has to be at least the fourth test server. I think they must be really, really struggling at Pixonic to kind of get the balance right here. They don't wanna bring it in super overpowered, but they don't wanna have it so underpowered that no one wants to use it either. I hate to say it, I'm not a huge fan of the Atomizer so far. Um, it does about 720 damage per laser bullet, if you want to call it that. It's like a laser machine gun. And what it does is it shoots forever, does not need to reload, but it overheats. And so you saw that steam coming out of my weapons. That is it overheating. And as it gets overheated, you can see that, yeah, that red, uh, sort of orange red glow on my firing button going. And it gets more and more wild. And eventually you can't hit the broadside of a barn. Anyway, here's what you've all been waiting for. Let's get into this cataclysm. So this is sort of a, a far away view. I have two equipped to my Ao Ming. Uh, there's a few other Mings flying around. It seems like in this test server, uh, most, most players were testing it with the Ming. You can see our team is not doing very well. We're getting our asses kicked here. Um, uh, in part because I think one of the guys actually dropped out as soon as he started playing. Uh, but uh, anyway, onward and upwards. So you can see this kind of thing. I'm not 100% sure if the effect is finished yet. You know, it kind of, I mean, look at it there. It kind of almost looks like it's not quite done a little, wouldn't you say? It looks a bit cartoonish in a way. And some of the, some of the laser um, electrical bolts are actually going straight through me here. It looks like it's kind of, um, you know, obviously the, I love the, I love the crackling feel of the lightning instead of just one single bolt. I love that kind of crackle and here's what it looks like. I thought I'd show you what it looks like to be on the receiving end of this thing. So here I am in my, my uh, poor little uh, tiny bot here with my shredders, my helpless little shredders shooting this guy. Um, and look at the laser bolts or, or the uh, lightning bolts just everywhere, eh? They're just all over the place, but it almost has an unfinished feel. So I'm gonna be interested to see what it, this looks like by the time it gets on the test server the next time around. Um, in terms of damage, how does it do? Well, you definitely don't wanna be on the receiving end of it. Now you gotta remember these, these, um, these are not fully maxed, uh, totally maxed to the gill weapons here. It's all roughly the equivalent of level eight. So even though they don't quite have the leveling correct 
for the Titans, um, they, it still is not super powerful, the, the most powerful it's going to get. I actually think, you know, I mean, I think this thing's going to really rip up a lot of bots. Um, it seems to do a lot of damage very quickly up close. Um, of course, there are some drawbacks. So one of them, what is it? You need to lock on, right? So as opposed to some of the other weapons like the Tsar or the Gendarme or some of these other, uh, these other Titan weapons, um, you, you don't need to lock on for those ones. As soon as you start to fire, you can hit your enemy. In this one, you, it takes a couple seconds to lock on. And as you know, in this game, uh, you know, uh, time, uh, time equals life in a lot of ways. If you can't lock on really fast, um, you may be dead. And so you can see here it's locking on and locking on, and then I finally get it, but the guy has a chance to go behind cover. So that, that's a drawback. Uh, you know, if you're going to hang back at 600 meters, which is the range here or something like that, 500 meters, it's not going to be as big of a deal. But I'm thinking, you know, if I had a Tsar, which is sort of the splash weapon for the Titans, that guy would be dead by now because I would have hit him around the corner and the splash would have taken his life and he'd be dead. So... I'm not quite 100% convinced uh, that this is sort of the weapon I want to just switch out my czars for, to be honest with you. Now, the gendarme and the cuirassier um, sort of dragoon-style weapons are another option for titans, of course, and they don't have that, that waiting period to start firing. So I think, you know, the jury's going to be out in terms of whether or not the, the Cataclysm is going to be the replacement. I mean, it's a cool weapon for sure. You know, I mean, obviously the visuals are a little rough. Um, you know, it does pretty good damage. But then again, on the other hand, it has a full 10 seconds of reload. Uh, you know, 10 seconds is a long time in this game. It never used to be. Back when I started playing back in 2014, a lot of things had really, really long reloads. I mean, you think about Punishers and Molots. Their reload is sort of a... Uh, a throwback to that period where everybody was waiting for 10 seconds to reload. In fact, I remember when Columbus, um, you couldn't fire Columbus rockets. It didn't, it didn't reload as you were firing. You actually had to wait the full duration. I can't remember if it was 18 or 23 seconds, something insane that you had to wait to be able to fire again. So waiting 10 seconds for your heavy weapons to start up, that could be a problem. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, just in terms of the gameplay, this is sort of a game that I played. I just kind of let it play it out here. Um, I jumped in. We're, again, we're, we're kind of getting down, but we had a kind of a fun comeback. If you do want to stick around to the end, we do kind of, um, you know, pull this one out from the uh, jaws of defeat, if you will. Uh, but anyway, back to the Cataclysm. So, positives. It looks cool. It does a, it does, it's going to do a lot of damage. I guarantee the feedback from everybody is going to be it needs to do more damage. That's what everybody's feedback every time a, a weapon hits the test server. Everybody says it's more damage, which is kind of ironic, of course, because no, everybody complains that weapons are OP and they say that oh, it's, it's not fair. Everything's, uh, you know, shotguns are too strong. This is too strong. But everybody on the test server, no one ever says, for the love of God, make something weaker, do they? They're always wishing it was stronger. So I guarantee when this comes back next time around, it's going to be stronger. It's still probably going to have that same mechanic of trying to lock down and having a few seconds of delay, um, which is a bugger. Um, the other catch is, of course, this is going to work really, really well if you're using a kid or if you're using a Ming and you start shooting that because they don't really have any defense against it. However, just like uh, the Dragoon-style weapons, uh, this this cataclysm is not going to be very effective against Arthur and its shield. So you also have to think about that. You know, I, I see so many guys, I mean, there are a lot of Mings on the battlefield nowadays up in Champions, but I also notice that a lot of guys, uh, they decided to go the other route and they actually went for the Arthur. You know, I know a guy like Adrian uh, Chong was really, really high in the Arthur and to this day will tell you that Arthur is better than Ming. I disagree, uh, but... I think a lot of guys listen to guys like Adrian and they have went out and they've run out and they bought themselves their Arthurs. And so what that does is that it actually makes the Dragoon style weapon and the Cataclysm weapon um, ineffective against these Arthurs. That's another reason why I run the Tsars on my, on my Ao Ming because I want to be able to blast through the Arthur shields. Um, and I also want to be able to kind of hide and hit and jump in the air and shoot and then come back down to safety on the ground. So anyway, th that's sort of that's sort of my, my my analysis here is that it's a cool idea, it's a cool bot um, idea. 
you know, weapon idea. I mean, I, I, one of the things I think it is is that it's a continuation of this theme of, uh, of Pixonic creating new versions of weapons that already exist. Which again is ironic because I remember two or three years, it must have been three or four years ago now, two or three or four years ago, um, I used to send, or send notes to Pixonic and say, well, why can't we have a medium laser? Why can't we have a, a heavy laser? Why can't we have a, you know, a, a medium shotgun? Those kind of things. And a lot of times the answer I got back was, well, they want to create new weapons. The, the developers and the designers want to create new weapons. They don't just want to make uh, duplicates and replicas of weapons that already exist. But in recent times, it seems like that is sort of where a lot of the new weapon stuff is coming from, right? We suddenly, we got the heavy laser, and then we got the medium and the light shotguns, which were, of course, um, you know, knock... Uh, uh, of the same family of the heavy shotguns and then we got the scourge and then suddenly we got the calamity and now here we are we're getting cataclysm um so you know uh, there's nothing wrong with that but it's just kind of cool that uh, you know at least we we can we we know kind of what this weapon's going to do before we even get a chance to play it because we've played other weapons of of different sizes or medium or heavy or light um that work similarly so anyway Long story short, if you're a big fan of Calamity, if you're a big fan of Scourge or Spark, then you're going to be a big fan of the Cataclysm. If you're not a big fan, then maybe it's not for you. Anyway, uh, if you want to keep watching to the end, uh, you can see how we're going to try to win this game here. It's uh, two to three, and we're down two beacons to three. Um, if you like what you saw, please leave me a comment, uh, share the video, uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, and if you are a subscriber, I thank you. And until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.